Hi there and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss what CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, is and how CBT techniques can be helpful in all of our day-to-day -day lives. And at the end of the video, I'll share three tips for how you can start to integrate CBT principles into your life. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. So, what is CBT? CBT is a talk therapy that works on changing or modifying our emotions, or things that create emotional distress, by focusing on our cognitions or our thoughts, the C, and focusing on our behavior, the B. Emotions are often hard to change in the moment. However, with practice, we can get really good at changing our behaviors and thoughts, even when our emotions are running strong. Now, CBT is not about brainwashing or rewiring our thinking. It's also not about positive or Pollyannish thinking. It's about realistic thinking. When we're stressed, anxious, or depressed, we tend to do a number of predictable things in terms of the way that we think. We're much more likely to be negative about ourselves. We're much more likely to perceive negative intent and think negatively about others. We're much more likely to be negative and hopeless about the future. And we tend to overestimate the probability of bad things happening, and we catastrophize how bad things would be if they were to happen. Now, what CBT helps us do is revise and refine our thoughts so that they are more accurate. And it also helps us draw awareness toward our behavior so that we aren't inadvertently reinforcing those negative or unhelpful thoughts. So, what are three ways you can incorporate CBT techniques into your daily life starting today? First, start to increase awareness to your thoughts now. Research says that we have about 40,000 thoughts a day, and most of these become automatic over time. Now, this is a good thing, because otherwise we'd be in sensory overload if we were aware of every single thought that we've had. But the difficulty is that if we have unhealthy or unhelpful ways of thinking and those become ingrained and automatic, they start to have a very powerful impact on our mood. Second, when you are under high stress or demands or feeling anxious or mood is low, engage in the opposite action of what your natural urge is. This is a behavioral technique that we know is really helpful for changing our mood states. When we're depressed, we tend to isolate. The opposite action is to socially connect. When we're anxious, we tend to avoid and stay away from the things that are creating that anxiety. The opposite action, or the behavior that's helpful, is to approach. When we're angry, we tend to approach. And the opposite action, you got it, is to avoid. Third, focus on things that you can control your behaviors and thoughts, and keep in mind that emotional change is going to lag behind. In closing, there's very strong evidence on the benefits of CBT for dealing with a wide range of psychological health conditions, whether it's general stress or a condition such as anxiety, depression, addiction, or disordered eating. If you think CBT may be helpful for you, I encourage you to read more about it. I have tons of free resources on all of my websites. In closing, remember, our thoughts matter, and our perception truly is our reality. Changing and revising and refining those thoughts can have a really strong positive impact on how we feel. And the science tells us that fake it till you make it does work in small doses and when we're under high stress or demands. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever tried a CBT technique? Tell us how it helped in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this.